Hey kids, it's ARP. This is the ARP cast, somewhat live from the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains in eastern Tennessee. Today we talk about different things, weird people, and maybe unicorns and rainbows. We read poetry and short stories too. Most of all, we keep it real. This is the ARP cast, starting now. ARPcast number 24, December 6, 2017, on the eve of Pearl Harbor Day. That's tomorrow, December 7, 1944. Big day. Sad day. That perilous fight. We all go through it. We all have our battles. We all seek that same thing. Happiness, bliss whatever you want to call it, however you want to term it, it's what we're looking for. So, several things I want to talk to you about tonight, but uh, today, tonight, it is tonight. So, this podcast is kind of an odd title, The Crush of Enlightenment. And so I've I've been thinking about enlightenment and, and I guess chasing it, uh, You know, in some circles, I guess, happiness is enlightenment. That ultimate bliss occurs through this freedom, this release from the basic life, reaching an unparalleled height, stratosphere, thinking, intellectual thought, going crazy, going nuts. And so this has been a a journey for me for the last, I don't know, almost 10 years really and and maybe all my life I'd always thought that 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 love that bliss that all things wonderful and great resided in other people uh, and, and this is gonna I know this is gonna run afoul of, of some philosophies and, and religions and of, of the like of folks that are listening to the program and, and that's okay I mean, we're, we're permitted to have this sort of healthy debate about this sort of stuff. But, but that's not what this is about, and, and hopefully you'll listen on and, and, and won't, uh, won't jam the circuit. So getting to enlightenment, getting to that stage where you are completely released of this attachment, this bondage, that is life and it is great having a conversation this evening with a friend of mine and uh and you can he, he listens um as often as he can a uh, good guy uh he's out on instagram uh wrong way jay so i was talking to jay this evening and really having a great conversation about what it is that we are what is this thing that we call life? Why are we here? And is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing that we've been given this situation? And, and it's a, it's a complex Q and a, right? It's very complex Q and a, some folks will tell you it's just random. It just happens. Look, I don't, there's no puppeteer. We're no puppets. It's just, happens. There's some sort of evolutionary uh, on, a, on a cosmic level or, or otherwise pathway to how we got here. Some people say it's very much a puppeteer. Uh, you know, pick your pick your deity. Some term it in the, the, the context of that causeless cause. You know, what is it? You go back to that ultimate speck <clears throat> of dust that created it. Well, what created the speck of dust? And then you keep going back and you know, thoughts of negative and positive infinity and kind of what's behind the curtain and and so forth and so on. So to me, it's a crush, right? And kind of a couple of different ways. So let's talk about it in terms of the positive. It's all positive, but we're all seeking this ultimate bliss. So this infatuation, this crush, crush, sorry, that we have is very much the, the sailor chasing the damsel, um, the damsel chasing the hero, the hero. And so 
we are infatuated, whether it's passively or actively, with this notion of, can we have this bliss? Can we attain this ultimate situation from our life here on earth? And, and there are obviously, as many of you know, and as you're, you've been taught in Sunday school or at the, at the temple, the mosque, the, there are many pathways uh, prescribed for getting to this level of happiness or bliss, this enlightenment. And, and outside of the philosophical, you know, sense of there was an age of enlightenment. Uh, and, you know, I was talking to another friend this evening on the way home <clears throat> from talking to the other friend. And, you know, he mentioned uh, Immanuel Kant and, and, and sort of that first the prelude and the thought of enlightenment and uh, did a little bit of reading and, and I understand and, and appreciate that approach but it's something I think that's much deeper inside of all of us it's just a matter of how do we uncover that how do we you know as as my guru will say how do we take the, the that that tarnished brass and clean it up underneath there is that pure brass there is that gleaming soul that just has an absolute crush and infatuation and desire to attain the highest on the flip side it is crushing it crushes us it's not easy to to get to this stage even if you are just you know it's a matter of some sort of blanket I've turned over my soul, I've, I've given all of my devotion to a particular deity or process or methodology or mythology or whatever it is. It's not easy. It's long, it's arduous. It's not easily understood. It, it can crush you under its, its own weight. And for as much a uh, depiction there is of all of this sort of not worldly perspective. It's not seen, it's not heard, it's not felt, taste and smell are right out. But is it our common bond? Is it that thread that brings us all together, this quest, this struggle? this want, this desire, this need to be fully realized. However we define that, God realized, not God realized, whatever, this ultimate bliss. Are we doing everything that we need to be doing to get to this stage? Are we affecting the world? Are we changing ourselves to get there? It's not easy, folks. I, 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 and, and I'm on my own journey uh, through spiritual or, or to spiritual enlightenment. And I, I have a sense and am willing to accept what it is on my particular path. And perhaps a lot easier than I see with others around me. The daily practice of it is very difficult. The efficacy required, the control the approach, those are not so easy. And the challenge is on us to find happiness, find bliss, find contentment every day of our lives. And the, the journey is really towards this state of enlightenment. So that's what I have for you tonight, kind of on a different show. Great having you. Thanks for listening. Good day. Well, kids, you know who this is. It's ARP, damn it. You have been listening to the ARP cast, a sensational, fact-filled experience meant to change the world. I'm happy you stopped by. Our sponsors, those greedy, wily bastards, thank you too. Make sure to write, this has been the ARP cast. I'm out.